Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has visited Hebron for the first time since taking office in 2005. Hebron is the largest city in the West Bank. Israel has control of section in the middle of that city where about 500 Jewish settlers live in several enclaves. Abbas says the settlers need to leave Hebron, which is home to about 170,000 Palestinians. He also called on Israel to accept a 2002 Arab Peace Initiative, which offers peace between Israel and the Arab world in exchange for Israel's withdrawal from the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, as well as the Golan Heights. Israel says the initiative provides a basis for negotiations, but objects to some of its points. Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert, uh, meanwhile, is appealing to Palestinians in the Gaza Strip to reject their Hamas rulers and stop rocket fire at Israel. Olmert says Israel would not hesitate to respond with force if the rocket attacks should continue. Those comments are the clearest indication yet that Israel is preparing a possible Gaza offensive. The sources say Olmert's security cabinet has approved uh, the step to uh, step up the military response, beginning with airstrikes against a wider range of Hamas targets in Gaza. A large-scale operation is yet to be authorized, but could get a green light depending on Hamas's response. Meanwhile, Israeli Foreign Minister Zippy Livni and Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak have discussed the prospects of renewing an Egyptian brokered truce with Hamas in Gaza. That truce expired last week and violence has flared up again along the Israel-Gaza border. Liu Yanhua has more. Israel's foreign minister and Egypt's president meet a day after Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip fired more than 80 rockets and mortars in southern Israel. Israel responded with airstrikes, and Livni says the country is preparing for stronger actions against Hamas in Gaza. Hamas need to understand that our aspiration to live in peace doesn't mean that Israel is going to take this kind of situation any longer. Enough is enough. Israeli defense officials warned that Palestinian militants would pay a heavy price, and Prime Minister Olmert called on Gazans to overthrow Hamas. Those remarks triggered strong opposition from Hamas officials in Gaza. We are certain that Livni's aggressive declarations about Gaza and the Hamas movement and the threat to dismantle the Hamas government originate from racism and extremism. These declarations are a call to commit war crimes against our people. Egypt mediated a six-month ceasefire between Israel and Gaza's Hamas government in June. The two sides blamed each other for the collapse of the ceasefire. With tensions escalating, Egyptian President Mubarak called for restraint from both sides. He also urged Israel to ease the humanitarian crisis in the impoverished Gaza Strip and bring an end to the sufferings of the Palestinian people. Liu Yanhua, CCTV. Well, meanwhile, the Jerusalem Post is reporting that Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak has decided to open the border crossings with the Gaza Strip for deliveries of humanitarian aid. That ruling comes following international, or rather internal, consultations in the security establishment and requests from the international community.